Hello, hello, Libra. I hope that you're doing great, feeling blessed and highly favored. My name is Marie. I am the energy behind this channel. I want to welcome you to your spirit guide message. Um, we're going to be looking into what the universe wants you to know at this time. So this reading is for Libra rising, sun, moon, Venus, wherever your placement is at here with Libra. Libra, your energy is so explosive at this time. Very beautiful. Um, okay, well, let's get down to business. When I was meditating on your energy, the song Beat Don't Fail Me Now came through. So for those of you that have not, maybe have listened to it, please go listen to it. Again, have uninvited attention to it because there's a message there for you. Okay. All right. So we're going to look into what energy is here for you, Nika. Know that this reading is done with a conditional love for you, for you to receive clarity, mind, heart, body, soul, and spirit, along with healing, Libra. You are very, very loved. In the name of unconditional love, let's begin. What does Libra need to know at this time, spirit? Okay. You are assertive. It is time for you to surrender to the scarcity that is in the mind. There is too much going on. It's so beautiful that we do have the Ten of Swords regardless of it being an energy where you may feel very drowned emotionally even when you're having a need to check on your mental health. It's telling you you are in, woo, yes, perfect. You are in the ending stage of a cycle here where you don't have to worry so much. You're going to receive the clarity is what your spirit guides want you to know. You also have death in the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of communication here coming to you. Um, Libra, you are assertive. Whatever moves, whatever choices, and whatever action plan, maybe you have not made the moves yet, you are on the money. You're right on the target. Everything that is coming in here for you is letting you know that there's a whole new beginning. Stop overthinking this, Libra. If we see here with the Ace of Pentacles, this is something that is going to stay a long, long time for you. Could be forever and after. Also longevity, right? Or for a very um, stable amount of time. You're stepping into this path. There's something much more beautiful as soon as you cross over and we see there's the mountains far off. And this is telling us here, yes, you're going to go through different events in life, but yes, allow yourself to be romantic, creative, even romanticize your life. Your life is calling for you to step into it. The newness that you have been desiring here for you, it's here. Yes, this first half of the year may be a little too hectic, or it's like you're trying to traverse through the diversity of whatever it is that you're going through. But do know that you are being taken care of. You have Goddess Kelly in the bottom of the deck. This is about a whole new renewal where you believe in yourself and you let go, finally let go of whatever was hurting for you or was keeping you back in the past. Remember, there are, there are points, times in life where you've healed so much, you've stepped into this newness, this new awareness. But this is telling you, you don't need to be, you don't need to be picking at the wound. You need to let it heal. Message here for you. Mm, Libra. Your message here is surrender to stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you build up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Yes, definitely pray, manifest, put out whatever it is that you are calling for. Even if you say, Yeah, you don't know how to pray, even saying thank you, divine, thank you, universe. That's a prayer. Connect with the divine. 
even if you don't feel that anybody's listening, you are being listened to. You may be frustrated at this time that doors are not yet open. But do know the frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself, ground your energy, regroup, so you may approach the situation more calmly. Your life will take a complete different spin by June, July of this year, not next year, this year. March will be an important time for you where you get to see the baby step, step, step into the next step in stone of your life. Your message here from your spirit guides is when you live your life from a space of authenticity, everything is possible. Libra. Alchemize the energy of hurt, pain, even that of blame into gratitude, into the judgment of acceptance and fear and love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, divine. Thank you, universe. So your final message for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other placement that you have and you strongly connect to. Thank you, thank you, divine. Thank you, universe. What do your spirit guides need you to know? What is divine? The universe need you to know, Libra? I just heard again, you are very loved, Libra. Very loved. Message here. Libra. Dearest baby Libra. Let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday? moment to moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday. So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy, what you made. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up, and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this. So when the time comes, you will be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful even from even for tears and loss, for they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute of it. We all love you like crazy over here. Sending you the highest of divine love and energies, Libra. Until next time. Namaste.